Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome! How are you guys doing? This video is gonna be the top 10 mistakes to avoid as a new player. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, here we go. So, point number one, which is really important, that will help you progress your account level. And with that, you're also going to be able to increase your character level. So it's very important to consume your stamina wisely. Don't waste your stamina uh, early in the game on like farming gear, for example. I know everyone starting the game always going to go for gear. Please, please try to avoid this mistake because at the beginning, you're going to get like very low rarity gear that you might not use ever. Once your character gets high level, you're going to probably gonna need to run <laughs> Five star relic so avoid farming uh, relics early in the game uh, I would say go for trace mats that you would need uh, at the beginning to max up the, ca the characters that you need <laughs> don't waste it on characters that you're not gonna use so make sure that you only be careful with what you're building I'll get to that to another point but yeah you can just invest it in traces you can also go for the um, weekly bosses which is really important so i'm recording this video before the weekly reset you're gonna have three trials every week i haven't done my trials yet i should do it so uh, before the reset make make sure that you consume all your weekly bosses that will also give you relics that you would need you can also drop your light cones which is really important and useful for your account progression so that's for the stamina be careful when you're using your stamina please um next thing is the, your dailies Make sure that you never ignore doing dailies every day. They give you so much XP. Uh, total, you get, I think, 1,600, something like that every day, which is huge because you're going to need that to your Trailblazer XP to level up your account. I'm right now at level 69, very close to the max level. I haven't refreshed my stamina since the game started. I've only been relying on doing like the... Uh, just using my normal stamina and refresh with the fuel that we get from the battle pass and the events and just playing the game so dailies will help you a lot to increase your account level so that's something to look up for um, going back to point number three we talked about the relics so early in the game you're not gonna get the perfect sets so for example I have here Dan Hong. He's not perfect. I'm not farm relics uh, till now. <laughs> but early in the game, you're not gonna have like a full musketeer set, for example. But you might have a good piece on like a boots that doesn't match the set. You can still run it. It's fine. It's not gonna hurt your character uh, early in the game. I would say until rank 60, you should be fine. So just if you have a good piece, like for example, I have this good crit damage HP piece that's not going to match the set. I can just put it on the character, right? I have this good crit damage piece also. I can just put it on whoever. Just don't look into making a perfect four sets at the beginning because it's going to waste your time and stamina on farming things that you might have no need for at the moment. Literally, any set would work. Also, the game give you already, like for example, for the Trailblazer, uh, I don't know where is the Trailblazer. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh yeah, for the Trailblazer, it's not gonna be a gold set. It's not gonna be like a five-star piece. But from leveling up your account, they will give you a full defense set for your tank, either Trailblazer, Jepard, or Fushuang. So you're gonna get a full defense set. Fushuang doesn't need defense. It could be a March seventh. So that will be already given to you for free. Even a healing set. So for example, if you made Natasha or what's her name, Lynx, you're gonna get a full healing set at the beginning, so your sustain will already have a full four-piece set ready, so keep an eye on that. Uh, point number four, which is really important because I almost fell off for one of, uh, one of those mistakes, so with your light cones, make sure that you always lock your light cones. I almost fed one of the light cones that I had. I think it was this light cone. It wasn't locked, and I was just gonna fed it to another one. So make sure that you always lock them, especially the five star ones, the Hertz light cones, because if you just mistakenly use them, 
like if you mistakenly fed these light cones, they're gone. You can't get them again. So please make sure that you always lock the light cones. Actually, I have not locked this light cone yet, but you can see the others here are locked. So always make sure that you lock them. It's gonna be really painful when you lose a light cone like that, right here. You have to lock it. Uh, same thing for the relics as well. Like if you have a good piece that you uh, got, like for example, this has 18 percent crit damage make sure that you always lock the good pieces so you never lose them um point <clears throat> number five <laughs> it's gonna be xp you need to prioritize your xp with building up characters that you only care about at the beginning of the game so for example don't go building at the start of the game I'm talking at the beginning of the game don't go building like five six characters at once only focus i would say probably on like two three four max characters at the beginning because you just need one team at the beginning of the game you're not gonna go do memory of chaos when you start the game so just focus on very few characters that you will need i will get to the team building later but yeah just <laughs> don't waste your xp on characters and light cones because they both consume xp so and they both have different XP as well, so be careful with using your XP there. Um, next point, number six, which is really important point, is do not waste your Stellar Jades. This is mainly for the free to plays. Do not waste your Stellar Jades on standard pulls, like this banner, which has the selector. Everyone wants to just get a free character, just hey, easy, right? But no. You will get there eventually, there is no rush in getting any of these characters. Uh, if you really want a character, you might as well reroll re for that character. But I would say, efficiently, don't waste your Stellar Jays on this banner or even going to the shop and just exchange the Jades for the standard pools. Or even, <laughs> even going for the Herta shop and exchange your Herta Bonds with the normal pass it's not that worth it you will get there eventually i'm already at what 250 maybe more i think <clears throat> yeah i'm at uh, 254 without spending anything on this banner just playing the game getting the monthly reset from the shop and just just playing the game right so no rush in getting there trust me just Prioritize your jades for your limited pools, either the character or the light cone, depends on what you want to go for. Um, next point is building pity. Yeah, go back to the summons again. Um, your jades again. This is mainly for the free to plays who just want to prioritize. Um, their resources because they're very limited. If you just play carelessly just building pities on banners that you don't need you will end up pulling characters that you have no use for in your roster and you might get dupes that you don't need for example um <laughs> i made a video saying i'm gonna skip blade right and i have blade e1 guess guess how many pulls it it got me to to get blade to e1 five I was just building pity. I was like, yeah, yeah, let me just build pity. I'll just, it's gonna be fine. I'm not mad that I pulled Blade. He's an amazing character. I'm just saying that I was gonna skip him in the first place, but I got him E1 in five pulls. So be careful with what you're pulling for, especially banners that have bait, four stars that are really good. If you're going for four stars, if you got a copy, just take it and leave. Don't keep pulling. You might reset your pity. It's gonna be painful. So trust me in that. This is mainly for free to play who are just building pity. It's not a it's not a great idea. Um yeah. Next point is the Herta shop, which we talked about with the uh, standard pools. There's also the light codes. Don't waste all the stamina for not the stamina, the currency for buying everything in the shop. Just focus on what you have for characters that might need the Light cones for, for example, the hunt. It's pretty amazing for Sealy or any hunt character can benefit from this. Destruction also is really good 
And if you have Fushuang, this one is amazing too. Just don't go buy any of the random ones that you would not need for your characters. And again, depends on what you have and what you need. Just avoid the standard pulls, please. And of course, you can buy the dupes from here once you buy the light code. Um, yeah, next point is the team building. And I've seen a lot of people who build a team full of DPS characters. I don't know how, <laughs> why, but that's not going to work. Because in the game, you would need at least a healer or a sustain on, on your team. So you can uh, go through the content. Because if you don't have anyone who heals you or like a tank with a taunt or something that can protect you, your team will die. So, like mainly, the team would be composed of a healer or a tank, right? Depends if you like. If you have really good gear that you don't need any healer on your team, so you can just go with healer. Let's say a DPS, a support, sub DPS would work as well. Something like that. Like that's what would be the team that I'd be playing with: healer, main DPS, support character, sub DPS. Sub DPS can be like Silver Wolf, Welt. I think Topaz can be considered sub DPS as well. There is many characters here that can fill this role. Uh, Peel is a very good support. She lowers defense. Uh, the Nihility. You can you gonna find the team comps. Just make sure that you do not go build a, a team like this, like Den Hong, Kafka, Sile. <laughs> uh, who else? Because I've seen this. I've seen this once. I was like, what? What is this team? What? What am I looking at? So make sure, or even making a full waifu team that just doesn't work. I mean, it can work in some situations if you're just farming stuff like trace mats and shit like that. That should be fine. It's okay. But for like actual content, you might need a full composed team with like a healer, support, and a DPS. Maybe two DPS can work also because, for example, you have characters who consume very low skill points like Blade, so he can re work really well. Uh, with a DPS, so you can have two characters who are doing a lot of damage, and some uh, like one of the characters is consuming less skill points, so you can use Blade, for example. Um, last but not least, which is really important that I've seen a lot of people have complaints about, people quitting the game for it, is rushing content. Uh, I've been playing the game since the minute the servers went out. It's really important that. You just play the game at your own pace. Just don't go complete everything and refill your stamina to finish events, like do the story and everything like that. I think this is not the greatest experience that you would have playing the game. Just take it at a time. Just wait for your stamina to refill. Enjoy the game, right? Um, beating the game and completing everything at once it's not going to be the greatest experience, trust me. Uh, see, most of the people who quit already finished the story very fast, uh, did all the events on release. It's just going to make you feel like, oh, there is nothing to do. But you already finished the game too early. So just play at your own pace. It's up to you again. If you want to complete everything, sure. But then you might not like it when you have very little things to do when you're just doing dailies and just using your energy and that's it so yeah that's gonna be it for my video hope it helped if it did consider leaving a like and subscribe thank you guys for watching stay safe and bye